Well, it took nearly 24 hours before a hostage situation in Oklahoma City ended with an apparent suicide. Late last night, police found 47-year-old Clyde Boyette III dead in his hotel room. News 9's Jacqueline Sitt joins us now with how it all unfolded in the end. Jacqueline? And Kelly, for nearly 24 hours, Boyette barricaded himself inside a hotel room before he shot himself. Shattered glass and a boarded window are what's left behind after a standoff lasted for nearly 24 hours. It was around midnight on Wednesday when police were called out to a hotel in the 6200 block of North Robinson. When officers were there, uh, they were met at the door by a man who, who told them he was armed and would shoot them if they didn't um, go away. A tactical team was called out and the hotel was evacuated. Authorities learned three hostages were also in Clyde Boyette's hotel room. Well, that's another reason that we wanted to wait and see if we could talk him into coming out peacefully. Between 6 and 7 yesterday morning, two women were released. Across the street, it was business as usual for a local ad agency. Really for us, it was just another day. Employees nearby weren't too worried, but curious about the day-long standoff. We'd peek out the window every now and then. Um, nothing real surprising going on. The standoff continued all day until around 11 last night when a third hostage came out and said Boyette had shot himself. That was nearly 24 hours later. We were doing everything we uh, possibly could to find a peaceful resolution to this. Uh, but uh, as I said, when someone is determined to kill themselves and they're armed with a firearm, that's sometimes very difficult to prevent. Oklahoma but City Police Master Sergeant Gary sure Knight tells us peaceful. he cannot disclose the tactical team strategy, but said when it comes to a hostage situation, there is no time limit. If someone is bound and determined to kill themselves and they're armed with a firearm, that's hard to prevent. But we certainly want to do everything we can to try to talk them out of doing it and to make sure if somebody else is in that room with them that they're safe. The three hostages were not hurt and their names have not yet been released. We don't know yet if there were drugs involved.